I'm going to show you how to install the Mind Body Training Tools biofeedback software. And if you've rented, you'll have received the software as a, a dongle stick. It lo just looks like an ordinary USB memory stick. And if you plug it into your uh, USB port on your computer, uh, you'll see it pops up and you can see it from within uh, Windows Explorer, as I have here. It shows up as a drive called BioERA. Now, if you've uh, bought the software and if you've downloaded it, you'll see you'll you'll have downloaded to a some location on your computer but you'll see the same set of files uh, so I clicked on BioERA and these are the files that you've got I'll just start by mentioning this one uh, it's a PDF file it's a document the installation and setup guide which is that just takes you through in more detail the process of installing and setting up that we're now going through in this video uh, it also tells you how to uninstall if you ever need to at any point Okay, so to install, the simplest way to do it is that there's an, uh, an installation script. So I've clicked on it there. It's called mbtt underscore installation. And technically speaking, it's a Windows batch file. So to run it uh, from Windows Explorer, you can just double click it. And what it will do is it will, it will pop up a little black window and, and then it will kick off the various steps of the installation process in sequence and there are, there are three basic steps there firstly there there are there there are well in fact there are two software programs to install first one is called the platform uh, and this is like the front end for the software and it's the place where you start from and it's the place where you launch the individual applications so that's called the, the mind body training tools platform uh, and it's launched a wizard for setting up for installing and setting up the platform so I'm just going to follow the, the sequence through just clicking next accepting the defaults so I've got to agree the license uh, I recommend you accept the default location for that next again ready to install next okay it doesn't take long to install the platform the one complication that is possible is that it will the, the installation will real, realize that it needs a Microsoft component called the Do now you may already have it installed in which case there's not going to be an issue but it might try to download that now another thing that happens and my screen capture software isn't picking this up but but Windows will ask your permission to install to make changes to your computer so a window will pop up uh, and you've got to click yes and when you do that the installation runs through uh, it's it's quick as you've seen for me and, and that step is now done uh, like I say it the only complication can be that you might need to uh, install or upgrade the dotnet framework for me I didn't need to do that uh, if you do need it the, the installation will try to download it from the internet okay so I'm just closing clicking close here and it will go on to the next step which is installing BioERA and again Windows is asking me permission and you're not seeing it in the screen capture if I say yes uh, and again it's another wizard that goes through the steps of the installation so this is a program called BioERA um, agree the license and then just follow the steps through I recommend again that you accept the default location install So BioEar is a bigger program, so it takes a little bit longer to install. And it also, also tries to, uh, may need to install some, some Microsoft components that are part of the installation already, so you don't need to download anything there. And then it's finished. So I click Finish there. Now the next thing is, is also connected with the BioEra installation. There is an up, update program. So it's installing an update to BioEra. So again, Windows is asking me and you're not seeing it, so I'm clicking yes to agree um, and again it's the same sort of sequence with the uh, wizard so I'm agreeing the license next default location install okay that's finished now so I click finish now the next thing the last step of the installation and you see it happening here is that it, the installation copies uh, a bunch of files that it needs to run the individual BioERA applications uh, so you'll see a, a lot of files zipping past there it's done it uh, 
if it's worked at the end of it all you should see at the bottom of this black window successful installation press any key to continue so I'll press that uh, and that's it that's a successful installation now the installation should have installed to your desktop an, an icon uh, for the platform which again is the, the front end the starting point uh, it's called mind body training tools it looks like this uh, it's a white triangle with a with a colored sort of wave and you just double click to start so there there are a few things to do to to set up the software before before running the applications i'll cover that in the next section in this section i'm just going to take you through a few steps that you need to do before you first start the individual applications uh, they don't take long generally you only need to do them once so to start the software I'm double clicking on the platform icon on the desktop and here it is now I'll just mention at this point that to run the applications you you have to have your license dongle plugged into the USB uh, and if you don't if you start the platform without it plugged in generally you won't see these tabs on the left so you see a set of tabs um, and there'll only be one which will be the setup tab so so that will happen if you don't have it plugged in and, it, and if if you forget you just uh, you just need to close it down plug it in and restart it so okay from the setup tab uh, would, uh, and you, I just clicked on that to make sure it's there but it's already it starts on the setup tab by default so there are a couple of steps that you need to do at the outset the first is to configure your device so I'm clicking this button here and I get a dialog window pops up and what you need to do is select the device that you're going to use for each of the biofeedback parameters uh, now if you've rented it's generally going to be uh, a physio data GP8 or possibly uh, an RV2 I'm just going to select GP8 Now, capnometer, if you've rented a capnometer, it will be the Respironics compati compatible. Now, I'll just mention as well, another one of the options is simulator. Now, this is an option in every uh, parameter. If you just want to learn how to use the software first, you can have simulator selected uh, and it will just run the applications. But without live data, it will just play back a recorded uh, session. OK, so once you've done all that, um, click OK. And it will remember the settings, so you, you don't need to do that again, unless you happen to change uh, and use a different device. Um, OK, the second step is, the, is that you need to configure the user and data storage options. So the second button here, I'm going to click that. Again, it's another dialog pops up now what this is about is when you run the applications the software will write a sort of session file that it uses to generate reports if you want to uh, view a session report so it needs somewhere to store that data so so this step is to is to nominate where you're going to save that data to now in fact I already have uh, a file selected but if you if you didn't and the first time you run the software you can create a folder by clicking on this button and you get the standard sort of Windows uh, dialog for, for creating a new folder so you can do that and you can create it wherever you want such as uh, in your documents folder um, wherever it doesn't really matter also you can you've got an option to work in single user mode or multi user mode if, if you're the only person likely to run the applications single user will be fine but if you select multi user then you have the option to create named users and these two buttons become active I'm going to use it I'm going to leave it on single user for now you've also got an option as to how to save the session data uh, so the, the the two most prominent options are save automatically and ask user so when you ask when you select ask user the software will offer you the option at the end of every session whether to save the data or not so I'll just leave that on okay now you're ready to go are you ready to start the applications uh, so you would just then go to the tab that you're interested in for example heart rate variability and click one of the 
buttons to, to start.